Today, we have some exciting news coming straight from Samsung. They're working on the highly anticipated One UI 7, and there are some cool updates on the horizon that you won't want to miss. So let's dive right in. First off, let's talk about the revamped app icons. Recently, Samsung made some changes to the icons of their main apps before releasing the beta version of One UI 7. Interestingly, these new icons look quite different from what was showcased at the Samsung Developer Conference 2024, also known as SDC24. According to the well-known tipster Ice Universe, the One UI team has redesigned several important app icons. Yes, we're talking about your beloved gallery, phone, camera, voice recorder, contacts, and notes apps. Following the keynote at SDC24, Samsung displayed One UI 7 at COV Labs, and ever since, we've been seeing a lot of videos and images floating around showing this new software in action. As you can see, the new icons are not only modern, but also have a more unified design. This shift aims to enhance the visual appeal of the interface, making everything look smoother and more polished. Samsung's commitment to refining these app icons indicates they want a cleaner and clutter-free experience, keeping up with modern design trends. What's even cooler about these updates is that Samsung is actively taking consumer feedback into account. With most Samsung devices featuring high-quality OLED displays, particularly flagship models with those stunning 6.8-inch professional-grade panels, these updated icons are designed to be user-friendly and visually appealing on these advanced screens. This kind of attention to detail truly shows that Samsung values what its users want and expect from their experience. Now onto some more exciting news. Earlier this month, Samsung announced that the One UI 7 beta program will be launching by the end of the year. That means both developers and regular Galaxy smartphone users will have the opportunity to test out this new software before its official release. And speaking of the final version, it's expected to drop alongside the next generation Galaxy S series, which historically launches in the first quarter of the year. Rumor has it that the Galaxy S25 series might even debut as early as January 2025. Talk about an exciting time for Samsung fans. So what can we expect from One UI 7? Let's break down some of the new features coming with this update to the Samsung Home app. First up, we have the amazing Home Gestures animation tuning. This feature allows users to select from three different animation styles, whether you want something pixel perfect, fast, or a more emotional feel. Plus, there's an advanced tuning setting that lets you fine tune specific aspects of the animations. How cool is that? You can really customize the look and feel of your device. Next, the advanced tuning feature lets you personalize details like damping, stiffness, and friction, which all impact how icons move and resides. You can tweak icon tracking and even play around with scaling animations. This means you can make your home screen truly yours. Plus, you can adjust the scaling, animation, duration, and blur effects on the wallpaper, creating a dynamic experience that reflects your style. Now let's talk about the new large folder feature. You can finally choose between medium and large sizes for your app folders. And don't worry, your existing large folders will remain unchanged. This gives you more control over how your home screen looks and helps with better app organization. And if you love the pop-up folder feature, just got better. Users can now adjust the size of pop-up folders as well, choosing between small, medium, or large options. There are also settings for fixed positions and more, which enhances customization and offers a more organized interface. Overall, the One UI 7 update for Samsung's home app is shaping up to be packed with features that many Galaxy users have been eager to see. I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed our breakdown of One UI 7, please consider subscribing to the channel for more updates. What do you think about these new features? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to oversharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.